It's Australia, it's summer, I'm hot, I need that window open. You can deal with the lighting for like 15 minutes, it's fine. Welcome to Who's. <laughs> Despite a new series being very much out of sight, BBC Radio 1 are already offering listeners VIP tickets to the premiere of Series 11. The prize pack includes two VIP tickets to the premiere, including a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Jodie Whittaker. Details of the competition can be found in a link down below. Damn, that's cool. Now moving on, and Twice Upon a Time's UK rating has been revealed with 7.92 million people watching the special, which is a good number. This is a slight increase over last year's Christmas special, however, it still only places it as the 11th highest rated Christmas special, with Voyage of the Dam still reigning supreme with 13.31 million viewers. That's double the amount. Staying on Christmas figures and Doctor Who topped the Twitter trends on Christmas Day at 7pm. Hashtag Doctor Who was number one, Jody and Capaldi were third and fourth respectively, and number two, you ask? Happy Holidays, which means Doctor Who was more popular than Christmas for at least a little while. Someone that wasn't too popular on Christmas Day was the BBC, as they got into a little bit of strife over the captain's familiar relations. The estate of Mervyn Hazeman, co-creator of the Brigadier character, filed a copyright claim against Captain Lethbridge Stewart, reportedly claiming that the estate reserves the right to accept or reject any additions to our intellectual property. The BBC have since come to a non-financial solution to the issue, stating, quote, a solution was achieved following Twice Upon a Time that maintains the integrity of both concepts. I have to admit, though, I feel like I'd have a bigger problem with Cyber Brig than, like, him, them showing his father. That's kind of like, cool, there's a little bit more to his father, to his family. The other ones, his corpse is now inside a Cyberman. I feel like that should be a bigger deal. But turning to other fan wank moments, uh, and there was that, of course, that moment in the Christmas special. I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm being really secretive here, but as soon as I cut to overlay, spoilers for the Christmas special. But I assume you've watched the Christmas special if you've gotten to this point. I'm speaking, of course, of Jenna Coleman making a brief appearance in the Christmas special. Whilst the green screening was incredibly apparent, Stephen Moffat has dropped some interesting information on the filming process in the latest Doctor Who magazine. My real last moment of production wasn't any of the ones anyone has been thinking of. It was in the old Top Gear office at the old TV centre with a, a skeleton crew and uh, Rachel Talley and Jenna. That was my final moment on Doctor Who at the old TV centre as it should be. Pretty proud of that one. Before it was apparent that Jenna wasn't able to be on the set, Moffat had already written a scene for her character that involved a little bit more interconnectivity with the people that were actually on set. It went like this. I'll tell you something though, you're always my favourite. Who was? Which one? I know. So there you go, Clara was originally a little bit more in it, but personally, I think they used her in the best way because I feel like the little family dynamic at the end there with Capaldi and, and Bill and Nardole, I think that was a, a good way to end it rather than this third wheel, fourth wheel, fifth wheel of Clara popping in would have felt a little bit kind of just disjointed. So thanks Moffat. Thanks, Talalale, and everyone involved in the Christmas special, you chose the right way to use Jenna. Which is a weird phrasing of that that I wish I hadn't used. But moving on, let's talk about the future, because Series 11 may be a lot more whopping than we first thought. Whopping is, uh, I'm going to call, from now on, Series 11 is whopping. In the latest publication of Toy World, there is an official advert for Doctor Who's 2018 season. The industry publication promises more than 11 hours of new content in autumn 2018. Now, when Jodie Whittaker was announced as the Doctor, Chris Chibnall did an interview where he basically laid out his plan for the series, which would be a 60-minute episode, followed by nine 50-minute episodes. And if you tally all that up, it's, uh... It's not 11 hours, which means there is, like... more time for things. So what that basically means, and obviously the easy answer is a Christmas special, which is plausible because that's 60 minutes and then there'd be more minutes to fill. And what would those minutes be? I'm waiting for your answer, I realise you can't really say. Mini episodes, you know, prequels and such. Because if you think about it, Chris Chibnall is the guy that wrote Pond Life and PS, so clearly he's adept, is that the word? Maybe it's the word, at writing things that connect with other things that are short. So fingers crossed, maybe those extra, like what, 40 minutes worth of things will be mini episodes to link at the start of a few different episodes to give you this is what happened in between 
Uh, you know, like when you used to send a text message f during series 1 and 2 and you'd get the TARDIS minisodes. Oh, what a time. What a time to lose lots of money because you do it in Australia and don't realise that you're not going to get the mini episode because you're in Australia and that's not how international texts work. Fun fact, we've got 11 hours of content this year. Isn't that exciting? Let's turn to merchandise news, which might not be quite as exciting for some people. Basically, you know, at Christmas, great time to get toys. Per Mackie got a toy, she posted a photo of the toy. The Twitter sphere went mental. This is the toy. Obviously, a 5.5 inch figure of Bill Potts. Clearly entirely in line with the character option series, so there is no way in Smeg that this isn't a prototype soon to be officially released. And if that Toy World magazine where they said there's 11 hours of stuff is to be believed, I think this is going to be the year that merchandise is rejuvenated. And what better way to start a rejuvenation than Christmas ornaments? Oh yes, that's real. And so is that. Well, that's all the news for this week, but let's find out what I have in the Community Cosmic Cube this week. Oh, it's so hot. Toby Haddock has posted his yearly memorial video for those we lost in the 2017 Hooniverse. Another truly emotional tribute to all those shining individuals. There's a link down below to watch that video. Now, thank you for joining me in 2017. I know it was a pretty jumbled year for me on this channel, but thank you for joining me in everything I did then. I hope this year is great for you, and I hope I do things that are great for you, for your eyes to watch. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at the Doctor of Who. Look at my hair, I'm just dying here. Also, don't forget Crispy Pro, you know that guy. Uh, we did a video together, it went something like this. And Crispy, he, he, he tries. And there's a link down below for that video, although I entirely assume you already subscribed to him, because everyone is. But if you're not, go on over, subscribe to him. If you haven't subscribed to me, hit that button down below to get more me in your face. But until the next video, I, I, I'm just, and I'll fix this at some point, I know it's terrible. Goodbye!